So today I want to talk a little bit about what Portal could look like in one year. I'm talking about Battlefield, not the lovely, lovely puzzle game using portals. So let's jump right into things. Welcome, 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 welcome to Uplink. Portal is probably one of the biggest updates and additions to the Battlefield franchise, period. It's going to offer so many fun experiences. And they've announced that they're going to be supporting this game for one year. They've got one year of planned content, 100%. We don't know what that content could be. We don't know what's actually going to be added, if it's going to be maps, if it's going to be new equipment, new weapons, new vehicles. Like We don't know the update path for portals yet. But we do know it's going to get supported for at least one year. And that's that's pretty cool. I'm glad that they've gone ahead and said, hey, one year. We we're definitely going to be committing to one year. Now, I think this is going to be my favorite game mode and the thing that I'm only going to be playing in Battlefield. We'll see. We'll see what the rest of the game looks like as we get more details and the beta comes out later in this year. So September. But I'm I'm most hyped about portal right now I mean, it's just so unique and i think it's gonna change the way we play but will it change the way we play a year out and a year of supported content isn't that much content like if we get an update let's just say we get an update a month that's only 12 updates that's only 12 issues of content and maybe maybe that's enough for everyone to get the experiences that they want but me who's probably going to be playing this game constantly that might not be enough that might not be enough content for everyone who wants to hop in to this game mode consistently throughout the time frame. Now, I think it may be enough for the time that it's supported. I think there will be enough content each month to bring people back and so much unique game modes offered that it's going to bring people back into the game mode. But I don't know how well it's going to do with a lack of support. Now, that's, that's the devil's advocate side of things. I personally think this mode is going to be lasting at least 10 years. But I think it's going to be the hardcore players that are going to be jumping back into Portal. I don't know, depending on what they do with rentable servers, depending on what they do with persistent servers. Now, I think it's going to be heavily dependent on persistent servers. If you can have, maybe whether it's paid or free, I think persistent servers are a thing that they need to add post-launch in one of the updates afterwards. And I think if they put those things into this mode, I think we're going to see a vibrant, vibrant community around Portal. I mean, I think we're already going to see that, but I think it's going to be up to the next level we're going to see a lot more consistency of people playing those modes where people are making those those different modes more persistent so they don't have to be playing for people to be playing their modes i think it's going to be fun to see what people end up creating also i don't know if i've ever said the word modes as much in my entire life in one sentence <laughs> that being said we have a wealth of modes. We have a wealth of content already in the game. What kind of content are we going to be seeing in the updates? What do you think that we're going to be seeing? In my personal opinion, what I would love to see is each update or maybe a season is focused around a specific game in Battlefield's past. Like maybe one season, This maybe this is just me hoping for Battlefield 1 content, but I'd love to see a Battlefield 1 season. And we get a, a map in the beginning, we get a map in the in the end or the middle, we get weapons throughout the season that you can unlock through the Battle Pass for free. You don't have to necessarily buy the Battle Pass, but like level up and then you get custom skins or whatever through the Battle Pass. If you pay, that's something that I would love to see is specific seasons based around a game so maybe let's say the first month is a battle pass season battlefield one we get horses we get the maps we get some weapons we get vehicles we get the battlefield one experience and then the next season that next month we see battlefield four and then it just keeps on going through the past of battlefield i mean there's a lot of battlefield games could you imagine if we got 2140 <laughs> 21 I think it's 2142 maps and vehicles and weapons how insane that would be now I don't think that would necessarily ever happen but it would be pretty cool 
or maybe they stick with the base content and then we keep getting new weapons and maps from the previous games that we've already got announced. So we get more Battlefield Bad Company 2 maps, Battlefield 3 maps, and then Battlefield 1942 maps. That's definitely something that I could see them do. I think it is a smart technique if they want to hammer down with really offering a robust experience in the modes and the games that we already have within Portal. Now, would I love to see Battlefield 1 content? Yes, please give it to me. I want it so bad. I've been playing Battlefield 1 non-stop and because it was on Prime for free, the servers are so great right now. There's a bunch of noobs of which I mean, it's been so long that I'm also one of the noobs, but it's fun to get that improvement and preparation for Battlefield 2042. And if you want to see that, definitely come check us out on our Saturday streams every Saturday at 12 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So come check us out. But I could definitely see them offering stuff like that. I, I don't think they necessarily have to be locked into the content that they already have in Battlefield Portal. They could offer things new. I'd love to see. I know there's been a lot of people asking for Battlefield Vietnam content, which I think would be pretty cool to see as well. All of the vast history of Battlefield is open for them to add into Battlefield 2042 now. I think it's such an awesome mode that I could see them bringing so much to it. Now, why would you play the regular other modes of Battlefield? I'm not really sure, but I think it's fun for us as the players. I think Battlefield 2042 is focusing on what the players want to play versus driving people to the main experiences and the other game modes. But we'll see how it goes. I, I'm very interested to see, because Battlefield Portal could be a flop. It could be so much hype and then it's just super frustrating to deal with. Uh, there aren't many people playing, you have to only play with AI because everyone's making their own servers and no one's jumping into other people's servers. Like, that could be a possibility. I don't think it will be, but it could happen. So, I'm very interested to see how that stacks out post-launch. But yeah, let me know what kind of game modes you want to see because we'll be doing a video on that in the future. Some of the, do you have some unique ideas? What's the first thing you're going to be hopping into? And do you think Battlefield Portal will survive for the next 10 years? Do you think it's going to be the thing that we're going to be playing in 2042? <laughs> let me know down in the comments below and hit the like if you did enjoy this video. And if you made it this far, definitely consider subscribing. Also, if you dislike the video, please if you disliked it, dislike it, and then let me know in the comments what you hated about it. So, as always, I'll see you on the battlefield.